It's the largest suicide in United States history, and it has all the components of just being so bizarre. It's been 20 years since 39 members of the Heaven's Gate cult were found dead, their bodies discovered under purple shrouds inside a mansion in Rancho Santa Fe. I just want to let everyone know how lucky and happy I feel to be here. In exit interviews videotaped before the mass suicide, members appeared calm and full of peace. We have no fear. We're uh, proud and looking forward to what's ahead. The fact is that there is only one kingdom level. The cult's leader, Marshall Applewhite, known as Doe, also left behind a suicide message to explain their journey. If I would title this tape, it would be Last Chance to Evacuate Planet Earth Before It Is Recycled. The members executed their plan by drinking a lethal vodka phenobarbital cocktail, then laying down to die, hoping to enter an alien spacecraft. Mr. Applewhite, I guess, felt that they were aliens and that the spaceship had come to pick them up and that it was trailing the hale -Bopp comet. We spoke to San Diego Sheriff's Deputy Robert Brunk on the 10th anniversary of the mass suicide. He was the first to respond to the mansion after an anonymous 911 call. Okay, what happened there? Well, um, I think there was a religious group that committed suicide. How long ago? Do you know about how long ago? Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay, and how did you hear about this? I was notified uh, by mail. Uh, I just thought I'd pass it on to you just so you can know. The caller was later determined to be Robert Ford, a former cult member who had received the chilling videotape messages in the mail. Well, we might see you all again, and then we might not, but we hope that you remember us as we were and not how other people are going to try and tell you that we are. And one last thing we'd like to say is 39 to beam up. Thank you.